on the sidelines on 1580 KGAL. Uh, nothing like a little bit of Queen to get our sports morning off to a wonderful start. Here on another edition of From the Sidelines on this beautiful Friday, beautiful March Friday, March the 8th, 2013. I am your host, Rob Allen, filling in for Radio Ray, who's down at Matthew Knight Arena. Just uh, wrapped up a uh, wonderful win for the Lebanon Warrior Girls. On 1580 KGAL, 39-38 win over the Bend Lava Bears. And a great win, their first win at the state tournament. They uh, went to the state tournament last year, lost both games. And uh, this year lost to uh, Springfield yesterday, 71-33, and bounced back this morning with a victory. And they will await uh, the winner of the next game, which uh, also features one of our one of our proud teams, the West Albany Bulldog Girls, who got upset last night. A huge upset. Probably the biggest upset in the tournament. They were seated second overall, number two overall in the state. And they lost to a uh, league rival, Corvallis Spartans, 29-26. to Three-point loss. They had a horrible shooting night, it looked like, looking at the stats last night. And uh, so the West Albany Bulldogs are playing in a consolation uh, semifinal and more than likely will win. They're playing Milwaukee, the Mustangs of Milwaukee. And they're, they're going to be playing here shortly on uh, K-Show, Sister Station. But we want, we want you to be right here, right here, right now. And with me, joining me today is one of my good friends and uh, co-workers from the good old Lowe's Distribution Center over, over in Lebanon. It's my good friend, Wilfred Silvera. Uh, good morning, Will. Good morning. You can call me Will. <laughs> yeah, I, I do call him Will. We'll keep it that way. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with Will the rest of the morning. And uh, we, we talk a lot of sports at our break table. <laughs> Mr. Silvera. Yeah, Mr. Silvera. Uh, I'm he, not in trouble, so he can't call me that. <laughs> <laughs> that has an executive ring to it. It does. It's just kind of formal, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and w- Will is from the uh, Bay Area. Really from San Francisco, Oakland area. Yep, I am. And uh, huge, uh, huge Oakland Athletics fan, baseball. California? You, you, yeah. California? You're, you're one of those? I am one of them, yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but he is... But he is... Uh, been, but he's uh, a good guy. He's a good guy. And he's been in Oregon for a few years now, so okay. I think we can officially call him an Oregonian. Yeah, I got my first uh, official Oregon license <laughs> last year, so yeah, it's official. <laughs> so is the webbing starting to grow and you're... Feet and hands and everything. <laughs> oh, I see the sun today, and I just want to stand in it. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> You're an Oregonian. <laughs> yes, and it is a beautiful day out there. It's supposed to be a beautiful weekend. It's supposed to be mostly sunny for the most part, right, Dave? That's uh, what I ordered, yeah. That's it's, what you ordered. Yeah. That's, uh, it, it's, it's what coming, the doctor ordered. It's coming, coming through so far. And, uh, you know, it was kind of getting a little sketchy as we were driving in. It was still, you know, pretty cloudy, a little bit of, little bit of fog, not too low. You know, it's still, you know, good visible but, to see the roads. But, but. you got to have faith, man. You know, just gonna, sun's going to shine in the morning. It, it is. It the is. Sun it, will shine. To, okay. Okay. Stop. Stop. All right. <laughs> I'm not quite in tune yet. No. Today. No. Later on in the show, then maybe maybe you could sing maybe. for us. I'd rather have Queen sing. <laughs> yes. Yes. But uh, the the point is, is that uh, the day the day is here. It's a good day. Good day to talk about sports. That's what we do on uh, from the sidelines every Friday. Uh, usually we also have Wally Orderman, who's also part of our broadcast, and he's uh, with Ryan, Radio Ryan, down at Matthew Knight Arena, getting ready for their broadcast of the West Albany uh, girls. And but did you catch that Lebanon game we just had on KGAL? I caught one caught very, point. Caught the very one end of it. point. Caught the very end of it. They were down. I checked it. Uh, checked the uh, score about a well, not quite an hour ago. They were down 32 to 23. So they're down by at least uh, nine points. Uh, late in the third quarter and came back and won by one. So a very good, very good uh, bounce back game for them considering and they lost. The Ben Lava Bear yesterday. coach was trying to call timeout. And yes. And it didn't get stopped. And Yes. And apparently Radio Ray almost assisted in, <laughs> in helping him yeah. call the timeout. You have to be, it's so quiet down there. It's a morning game. And the, apparently the uh, coach for Ben was very close to the, uh, to the media table. <laughs> and, uh, Ray, Ray was almost yelling out, uh, surprised they haven't taken a timeout. 
We don't want them to hear that. <laughs> yes, yes, we don't want to give them an advantage. So, anyways, but lots to talk about. Uh, you know, I was down there at the uh, championships yesterday to watch the Lebanon girls play against uh, Mercedes Russell. And Mercedes Russell is the top uh, college prospect or college recruit nationally. She's really got a set of wheels on her, doesn't she? She does, and she's six foot six. Is that why her mom called her Mercedes? I don't know. I didn't get to talk she's to her mom a, about she's it. She's a speedster. Yeah, yeah. She well, she's she, nah, sports she, car. She's yeah. Mercedes. Don't, don't don't be deceived by the name because she she doesn't move down the court very fast. She's six six, and she's uh she doesn't have a lot of a lot of meat on her bones. Let's say, but she makes it. She gets it done. She does get it done yes. to, the, to the tune of 29 points yesterday. She only played 24 minutes of the 32-minute game and scored 29 points, had eight rebounds and six block shots. So she, she do, somehow she still dominated the game. It, it looked like it was easy. She didn't even break a sweat. Can we recruit her on our team? Uh, she's a senior. Oh. Yeah, she's a senior. So, okay. so she's heading to Tennessee, which is one of the top, uh, women's basketball programs in the nation. They're ranked ninth right now nationally. And I'm not sure. I've only seen her play once, and that was yesterday. I'm not sure how she's going to fare at that level. But um, but it's still a great experience going out to Matthew Knight Arena uh, and uh, seeing all the other media-type people. I see Jesse Sauer from the Democrat Herald talk to him um, on uh, Wednesday night because I went and watched the West Albany boys, uh, probably one of the best games of the tournament. And they lost by three to uh, Jefferson, who could uh, win it all. And uh, West Albany, I thought they had a chance to win it all. But uh, they just had a couple of miscues down the, down the stretch of the game. But uh, lots of good basketball. It's championship basketball weekend down there at Matthew Knight and also up at the Rose Garden. And, and it's the best team, so you expect the best. As far as the scheduling on KGAL and K-Show, we're just we're juggling everything around sports. It's like we're K-Sports Radio. Yeah, yeah. You were telling Aids me that. Aids Broadcasting, yes. K-Sports. Yes, absolutely. And, and uh, you know, I think it's, uh, I, we always mention this every time that there's teams from our area that are, and especially the teams that we carry, which are West Albany on K-Show and Lebanon on KGAL. But it makes, uh, ma- ma- makes it worth it to mention, uh, Dave and Will, that, that we cover these teams, and when they do have success, we're the, one of the few radio stations that cover these two teams all the way to all the way to the to their final games. And for them to make it this far is awesome. You know what we are? You know what we are? We are. We yeah, we yeah. That's basically we're the champions. That's basically that's basically right, Dave. I mean, the Warriors and the Bulldogs are rocking it like it. There you go. Like Queen is. And uh, that's so fitting. So, um, but anyways, the state championships, if you ever get a chance to go down to Matthew Knight Arena, it's a wonderful place to watch basketball. Um, parking is still still horrible down there. <laughs> I heard Radio Ray's uh, bit on the morning show the other day where he was wanting a head of Nike to buy parking for families so they could go down and, and watch the kids play. Radio Ray's got so many different ideas for parking down there. It's so much easier to park at Gill Coliseum. It really is. There's not very much housing or houses. There's dorms, but there's but they've got it organized there at Gill Coliseum. It, it, down at Eugene, it's, you know, the other night I parked near a construction website about three blocks away, and there's no lighting in the streets. It's dark. It's almost pitch black. You know, I heard some angry dog barking, barking at me as I was walk, walking. Was it wasn't by. a wolf, was it, or a coyote? It might have been. It might have been. I'm not sure. Thankfully, there was a fence dividing, dividing me <laughs> from that dog. It sounded like a big dog, but you know, if there's somebody with you, you don't have to outrun the coyote. Just run faster than the guy that's with you. If there's somebody with me, there you but go. if there's not, you were by yourself. I did. Oh, I did. Ah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and it, you know, and you got to, you just got to be on the extra careful lookout down there in the nighttime. But yesterday in the daytime, better. Okay. A lot better in the daytime. Take your weapon. <laughs> Not as many freaks mm. in Eugene out, <laughs> out there. Uh, but uh, still, a, a great venue to go and watch uh, uh, championship basketball and uh, the best teams playing. Uh, and, you know, it's high, you know, it's high school. I mean, it's the lowest level. Um, in terms of uh, amateur, amateur basketball, but 
still, it's, it's, it's the best. It's the best that Oregon has to offer. So, um, Corvallis, again, we mentioned Corvallis, also area team. Silverton, Silverton boys are playing tonight in a semifinal game. So, they're one of the favorites. They're playing the same team that, that beat West Albany boys, the Jefferson Democrats. Um, but, uh, so, anyways, it's good to see all the area teams uh, from the Valley uh, doing well. And um, I look forward to uh, hopefully seeing possibly a Civil War, each Civil War matchup between West Albany girls and Lebanon girls tomorrow morning at 9. That's what it's looking like. It is. I, w- I would favor West Albany. I would definitely favor West Albany in their matchup against Milwaukee. They will not have a ba- another bad game like they did last night. So, so from a technical side, we have to... That's something we probably shouldn't talk about on the air, but how are we going to do that? Are we going to have both? Uh, I, don't I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure it out. <laughs> we One way or the other, we'll have it on the air. Now, oh, absolutely. We may not have both broadcast teams doing it, but... Right, right. It'll be there, broadcast. There is limited space there at that, at that table. You know what? Have, have, I'm kind of, I've only been in the area for about a year, year and a half now. Have Radio Ray... And Ryan, his son, ever done a, a game side by side? You know, yeah, not basketball. Color. They've done baseball together. Oh, really? And they sound wonderful. They don't and, fight. They, they play off each other. They don't fight. No, oh, good. They don't. No, it's very, very cordial, very professional. And uh, that, that's baseball. It's one of their passions, you know. But basketball, that would be very interesting. It's much faster paced type of type of atmosphere, and it definitely would be different, you know, because West Albany's used to hearing Wally and Ryan. Lebanon's yeah. used to hearing. <laughs> Radio Ray and Scott, you know. So, yeah, it, it'll be interesting. It's, but that's the, that's the situation we love to be in is yeah. having to make those decisions. Oh yeah, but I say we, meaning you, <laughs> you and the rest. Of the, well, it's the program the director. That, yes, they just tell us which buttons to push and we push them. But baseball, as far as Radio Ray and his son, that would be the thing. I about baseball is just so much dead time, so much time to fill. Swing and a miss. <laughs> Yeah, it's sunny today here in the park. It, and you know, you got to pay attention. Whoever, whoever's in the booth has got to pay attention. You're going to miss something. Okay. I mean, <laughs> Will can attest to that. I mean, really, baseball, if you just pay attention to the seventh, eighth, and ninth in- innings, then the first six innings, you know, really are just just a waste. If they could just play the last, but, you know, baseball's nine innings, and it's tradition. It's America's game. You know, it's been, been around for a lot lo- longer than the, the other sports. But you're right. It's it's tough to fill in the time, but pay attention at the same time because you're gonna miss. You may miss something. You may miss history. <laughs> Fly <laughs> ball. Yeah. yeah. Could you imagine rambling on during Hank Aaron's <laughs> home run, home run that broke Babe Ruth? You know, and then you missed the call. You know, you don't want to miss that call. Don't miss that. That's no. history. No, you but, can't miss it. It it's, it it never comes back again. It's like right. a song. Yeah. It's like a wine, just aged to perfection. You can't miss it. I sound like Radio Ray. <laughs> you get nostalgic on it. I'm, I'm, I'm in the Radio Ray chair, and it's starting to rub off. Yeah. Uh, what I was going to ask... That's a scary thought. What, what I was going to tie into uh, and ask Will about was... Am I interrupting? No. Oh, no, you're okay. not. You're, no, we're, we're just doing fine. But I was going to ask Will, you know, tying into state championships, and he played, uh, he played uh, interscholastic sports down in California. Uh, uh, did you play bit, yes. play on some good teams? Some no, bad teams? we always got our tails handed to us. <laughs> we uh, football and played on a seventeen man roster. Had to play Iron Man football, so yeah, no. it was uh, it was pretty hard when you played against teams that had like you know forty, fifty people on the other side, and you're constantly going against fresh people. So <laughs> it's tough. Yeah. Yeah, but, and yeah, no, no complaining on that team, on Will's team, about playing time. No, no, no. got it all you want. <laughs> and one thing I was going to talk to you about the whole baseball situation when you're talking about the dead times and stuff like that was, uh, you know, it's nothing like seeing it live, right? Because when you're there live to watch the game, you definitely take it more than you would if you're in front of a TV. That's for sure. Absolutely, and I, I would say the same thing about golf. Yeah. You know, golf's the same thing too. I, I have to admit, when I watch golf, I, I look at it from a different perspective because I pl- I played it for a long time. But it's still, I can still see how the average person could think of that as, as a boring sport. But I keep on telling them, you got to go out, you got to swing a club, and then come and tell me different. Because a lot of people go out there, and they, they'll swing a club, swing a driver, try to hit the ball as far as far as they can. They say that's the, one of the funnest things I've ever, ever done or tried to do. <laughs> it takes an amazing coordination to do, but... 
but golf and baseball are a lot, lot like that, where you got to... Now, football. Now, football. Not everybody can go out there and play football and put on the pads. And <laughs> well, you definitely got to let your body on the line for that one. Yeah. You got to be willing to sacrifice a few uh, vertebrae or knees. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, anyways, uh, I think we need to take a break, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. Now, now's a good time to take a break because uh, when we come back, we're going to talk, uh, talk a little bit about uh, baseball. Opening day is only 23 days away for Major League Baseball. Mm -hmm. It's going to be on Sunday, March 31st. So I'm sure uh, my, my good buddy uh, Will and I have some uh, interesting thoughts about that. Maybe even Dave might have some inter interesting thoughts about, about what baseball, Major League Baseball. You have a favorite team? Generally, I'm the guy that's under the rafters uh, wiring the phone circuits and, and, and running the video lines and the audio lines. And, yes, he's, he's the behind the scenes that uh, gets, gets things going for us. And I'm technical. I'm, I'm uh, radar or whatever. The guy with the wires out of his pocket and the wrenches and so on and so forth. Right on. Well, Will and I, Will and I will come back after the break, and we'll, we'll talk about Major League Baseball and what to look for the uh, upcoming year and who's the favorites uh, to win uh, in each division or who's the favorites to win it all. One, you, one of the things we can do, you guys normally don't do it on From the Sidelines, but you can. This is something you can share with Radio Ray. Okay. If he wants to do it. Okay. We have a, a longstanding uh, promotion with uh, Quiznos in Albany. Oh, yeah. It's Quiznos Taste on Us. And if you want to, uh, while the this broadcast is underway, you can send us an email, dave at kgal.com, or call the station at uh, 451-KGAL or 926-KGAL. Say you want Quiznos Taste on Us, and at the end of this broadcast, we'll draw a name out of the hat, and whoever's name we draw can't be Will, can't be can't Rob. Can't be Rob. Can't be Ray, can't be Dave. Can't be Dave. No. But if it's your name, then you get a $10 gift certificate from Quiznos in Albany. Good for anything in the store. Take your buddy, and it's Taste on Us. Thanks to Dale and the crew at Quiznos for being a part of the Valley Talk family here on KGAL. And you can do that now. You can't beat that. You can't beat that deal. Yeah, 10 bucks. $10, Quiznos. Yeah. I miss the Quiznos in Lebanon. 10 bucks is 10 bucks. It, Quiznos used to be in Lebanon. They they, they took it out. I guess it wasn't, it wasn't doing too well there, but it's doing well in this area, so... Yeah. Great guys over there. Great guys and gals. Yeah. Eat lunch there every day. Right on. Let's take a break. We'll be back in From the Sidelines in just a moment. Just two programs remain in this year's concert season of the Corvallis OSU Symphony Orchestra. The next performance is Friday evening, March 15th, 7.30 in the LaSalle Stewart Center. Under the direction of conductor Stephen Zilke, the orchestra and the OSU Chamber Choir will perform Bach's St. Matthew Passion. The Passion, written in 1727, sets to music chapters 26 and 27 of the Gospel of Matthew. It is regarded as one of the masterpieces of classical sacred music. Tickets are available at Grace Winds Music and Grassroots Books and Music in Corvallis. And they're available online at cosusymphony.org. The Corvallis OSU Symphony Orchestra invites you to bring the entire family to this special performance. Bach's St. Matthew Passion, Friday evening, March 15th, 7.30, in the LaSalle Stewart Center on the OSU campus. When you look out across the Willamette Valley, you'll see plenty of banking choices. Willamette Community Bank is here to give you an option that's pretty unique, like no other, in fact. Hi, this is Sue Kalina, Relationship Manager. Willamette Community Bank provides an alternative to large national and regional banks by offering customized financial services and local decision-making to benefit local people, local families, and local businesses. How many banks can say that? Willamette Community Bank, service like no other. Member FDIC equal housing lender. Albany's Mennonite Home is pleased to have earned a perfect score from the state of Oregon surveyors, making Mennonite Home one of the top skilled nursing and rehabilitation facilities in Oregon, providing the highest possible quality of care. As part of the Mennonite Village Retirement Community, Mennonite Home provides the rehabilitation and therapy services for people of all faiths transitioning from a hospital stay to home. They work directly with each resident's health care, pharmacy, and insurance providers, making life easier for residents and their families. A wide range of resident programs are offered to meet individual interests, including outdoor gardening, scenic walks, cooking and baking, art and music, pet therapy, and brain fitness activities. Mennonite Home is where you'll find superior standards and amazing levels of devotion. The proof is in their reputation and resident satisfaction. 
Rooms are currently available. Call Geraldine at 541-928-7232 or visit MennoniteHome.com. The Albany Public Schools Foundation presents the iRun. Don't be confused, this is not a new exercise device. This is the iRun for Kids 5K Run Walk and 10 Mile Run on Saturday, March 16th for the Albany Public Schools Foundation. Register online at albanypublicschoolsfoundation.org. iRun for Kids proceeds support Albany Public Schools Foundation's Classroom Grants Program, enriching the education opportunities for Albany Public School District students. Let's run together. Jim Bohannon, weeknights on News Talk 1580, KGAL. Welcome back to From the Sidelines here on Friday, March the 8th. Dave Adams behind the board for us, the technical guy. Rob Allen, and to my left is uh, Will Simply known as Will. Just Will. Just Will. <laughs> he told me the other day, uh, I said, you got to have a nickname for, for the radio program when you come, come on me. And he says, The Thrill. Uh, you know, Will it's a little thrill. Bay Area tie-in with the one yeah. with great Will Clark. How can I not measure up or... T tie that in. Tie oh, exactly. that's a very high standard. It's a very high standard. A good left-handed uh, uh, first the, baseman. The Thrill? Will The Thrill Clark. The Osgood File, sponsored in part by Regis. Let Regis help you to focus on your business while they take care of your workspace needs. Get two months free on a fully wired and furnished office. Call 1-800-OFFICES. This is Charles Osgood. Two British designers have come up with a wonderfully low-cost, low-tech, high-impact source of light for a third of the people on Earth. It requires no batteries, no kerosene or fuel of any kind, and there's no running out of what it runs on, which is gravity. Jim Reeves is one of the two creators. So the product consists of the generator ambient light unit. It's shipped in a very robust bag which takes ballast. You take it out of its bag, you fill this bag with gravel, sand, soil. You attach the bag, you hang the product, and when you lift the bag, then you have your light source. More after this. Businesses, from startups to Fortune 500 firms, have something in common. They're intentional, they focus on success, and they don't get distracted. And many successful businesses have something else in common. They work for a Regis office. Your beautifully furnished wired Regis office can be ready when you need it with a receptionist, access to meeting rooms, and state-of-the-art video conferencing, all with no long-term lease. Regis is the new way to work. Call 1-800-OFFICES and get two months free when you mention Osgood. That's 1-800-OFFICES. In this moment, who has your back? An insurance company delivering excellence during your claims process? Auto Owners Insurance has been recognized as highest in customer satisfaction with the auto insurance claims experience five years in a row by J.D. Power and Associates. Let an auto owner's independent insurance agent have your back so when the unthinkable happens, you get the claim service you deserve. For J.D. Power and Associates award information, go to jdpower.com. Find your local independent agent at autoowners.com. The Gravity Light is designed to sell for around $5.00. Each three-second pull on the bag produces a half hour of useful light. It's cheaper than solar technology. Co-creator Martin Ritterford can explain that. The trouble with solar technology is that you have to charge a battery with the solar power that you've gained from the sun, then use the battery power to power at night. So it was really important to find the cheapest way of supplying reasonable quality light to these people. To these people, the gravity light can be a giant leap forward. Right now, says Jim Reeves, third of the world's population is off-grid. So you've got large communities across Africa and India and South America and even Northern Europe and into Russia where power is either intermittent or absent. So we want to take a large number of the devices out to the intended end users, get feedback on how the product would perform in the field. It's very different from the conventional solutions that people will be familiar with. To them, changing the world is, to use our late colleague Eric Severide's phrase, not so wild a dream. The Osgood File. I'll see you on the television come Sunday morning on CBS. This is Charles Osgood on the CBS Radio Network. This time of year can be very taxing, or it can be very, ah, relaxing if you call American Bookkeeping and Tax Services in Albany. They've been providing quality services for bookkeeping, tax preparation, personal taxes, and more for decades. American Bookkeeping and Tax Services believes in the highest ethical standards. So relax and call American Bookkeeping and Tax Services, 541-926-7982, 926-7982. Online at AmeritaxService.com on 9th Avenue, Southeast in Albany. 
Finding your perfect match takes time. Yep, this Saturday you can finally get yours during Free Paint Saturday at Economy Supply Building Center. Get a free quartz Saturday of your perfect color from the new Clark and Kensington Paint and Primer in One. Stop searching and find your soul paint from Ace, the helpful place. See Economy Supply for in-store coupon. Offer ends March 16th while supplies last. Limit one per household. Most colors available for tinning. See store for details. It's time to get your weekends back with help from your neighborhood Ace. Economy Supply Building Center, Lebanon. With all the financial headlines, are you wondering if your retirement savings will last? The market's ups and downs can keep you guessing, especially if you're approaching retirement or considering it. Hi, I'm Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Doug Phillips. If you have more questions and answers about what's next, let's work together to help ensure you're prepared for your journey. After all, retirement isn't the end of the trek, it's the new beginning. Stop by my office at 2600 South Main Road or call for an appointment at 541-451-4000. Edward Jones, Making Sense of Investing, member SIPC. Laugh, cry, or get scared spitless with When Radio Was. Weeknights at 10 on 1580 KGAL. We will, we will rock you. Everybody, we will, we will rock you. Welcome back to From the Sidelines. We had to take a quick break there. One of our three breaks. And we thank everybody for sponsoring our, our program. Uh, here, locally owned and operated, 1580 KJL. This is from the sidelines. We meet every Friday from 11 1106 till noon. Talk about uh, local sports, regional sports, and national sports. And and a national sport that uh, Will and I wanted to talk talk about uh, today is Major League Baseball, and it's going to be starting March 31st, the first day. Of a long season, seven month season. Yeah, and actually, spring training's already full swing. So yes, and it, they have the the have the World Baseball Challenge that's going on as well. Classic, World Baseball Classic, the WBC, <laughs> welterweight, <laughs> and the WGC too. Just to throw that in, that's the World Golf Championships down in down in uh, Florida. Uh, Tiger Woods was tied for the lead going into uh, today. Oh, I seen that. He was like six under, wasn't he? Yes, and Rory McIlroy. Uh, shot 73. Now, one of the big stories, real quick, before we jump into baseball, was last week Rory McIlroy complaining about a toothache, and he was plus six, plus seven wasn't having for a his good round. Day. No, he wasn't having a good day, and uh, he actually recanted his uh, comments. I guess this week or last weekend, coming into this this uh, this uh, golf match or golf event, saying that uh, you know just lack of experience and in youth. Uh, took over, and uh, he promises to, to for a better showing to toughen up a little bit. Toughen up, absolutely. Yeah. Take a you know, take a ibuprofen or something. Right. I mean, uh, you know, we talked uh, briefly about it uh, in the break room uh, over at Lowe's about uh, you know these guys are you know earn millions of dollars, thousands, thousands upon dollars playing golf. Certainly, they they've got doctors, they got people that could give them something to uh, relieve the pain of a tooth. You know, on the golf course, because you don't hear about injuries in golf very much. You don't hear about, you know, other than maybe a wrist, maybe a back injury, you know, because of all the different muscles being used. But rarely do you hear anybody sideline for very long. Usually they're able to play through it for the most part. But Rory shot a 73 yesterday, so uh, still probably by his standards not a very good day. But uh, certainly uh, looking a little bit better than say, 77, 78 strokes that he shot last week. The thing that always gets, gets me about watching golf on TV, especially, is so quiet. We're here at hole 17. Yeah. He has a toothache. Yes. We must be quiet so as not to awaken the tooth. Is it, Dave, isn't it, you know, that's a very good point, because isn't it amazing how some of the most, the best uh, sports moments are loud. Yeah. They're normally loud just boisterous, just overjoyed moments. And then sometimes some of the more dramatic moments are quiet. And they're, you couldn't cut the, couldn't cut the tension with, with a knife. Well, they definitely get their moment after the, the ball is hit. Yes. Oh, absolutely. And the last putt, you know, everybody, you know, everybody, it, it seems like everybody, you know, everybody's a front runner in golf, just like they are in, in most sports. You know, when the guy, you know, sometimes, and lately it's been a lot of rookies have been winning on the tour. You know, the tour's just been getting a, a widespread talent. You know, I mean, every, everybody's good. And when a rookie wins, all of a sudden, he, he goes from no-namer to 
everyone wants to root for him. Well, you got your, you know, big guns like Woods and Mickelson and stuff like that. The crowds are going to go there anyways. Right. When you see someone out of nowhere taking a lead, that's going to draw a crowd, which is Absolutely. Good. Absolutely, and, and it just, uh, it's, it's just better, you know, I mean, how many times do, you, do we say that we, you know, and talk about baseball, here's a segue into the baseball, how, you know, it's always the Yankees, or it's always the Red Sox, or it's always one or two teams that seem to always get the great players and always do well, but the Yankees this year, boy. Well, they look like they're hurting they are right hurting. out of the get-go. Oh, yes, uh, and we just learned within the last day or two that uh, Mariano Rivera, 43 years old. Gonna, this will be his last season. Right, I heard that. And he's gonna be he's gonna be retiring. He's been around for a long time. He has uh, looking up today. He has 608 saves. You know, appeared in 1,051 baseball games in his career. Uh, and uh, most postseason saves. That's the that's the best statistic. 42 saves. The next closest guy is 18. 18 saves. So he has been a dominant uh, pitcher, relief pitcher, for a long time. And they got his money's worth. They, yeah. they definitely got his money's worth. With, with 43 and retiring, isn't that amazing? Now, I, I know he's been in it for a thousand games, and obviously he's definitely put, you know, put his, given his pound of flesh for the team, so to speak. But retiring at 43, how many other businesses? I know every once in a while you, you know, hear about a, a young entrepreneur who made a big and is, you know, filthy rich at 25. But and, and you, one of the things that always gets me about the the the, sport, the sports stars is, and I know they get beaten up a lot, but they're you know washed up at 40, 30, depending sure. on the sport. Sure. Oh yeah, or even earlier. Right. Yeah. Look at tennis. Tennis, they retire at 32, 33 because they start when they're teenagers. You know, so and they better know, they better have their head on straight, or else they're def- you know going to take all that money and boy, yeah, there's a train wreck coming. Yeah, and, and, and the beginning of the NBA season, one of the one of the big things that people were mentioning was about Kobe Bryant when he was in his rookie season. He said, "What well, has great food, games for the kids, and a front load washer and dryer with pedestals donated by Kellenberger Appliance? It's the 28th annual benefit auction for Eastland Christian Academy, sponsored by South Fork Industrial on March 16th. Take the whole family, then make your bids on hand stitch quilts, weekend getaways, tires, and did we say a two night stay in Depot Bay? March 16th begins with a breakfast at seven, followed by a silent auction at eight, and the big one gets underway at ten. This year's auction is at the Victory Campus, just off South Fifth and Lebanon. For more details, call five four one two five nine two three two four. Frogtown will be performed, a multimedia musical based on Emmy-winning author-composer Philip Pelletier's musical storybook, One Night in Frogtown. There'll be projected animations, a live story reading, and a live musical performance, and it's part of the Children's Performing Arts Series by the Albany Parks and Recreation Department. And March 16th, they'll be at the Lynn Benton Community College campus, Saturday at 10 a.m., and it's free. Horse lovers and ranchers, there are wild horses that need immediate help in Wheeler County, Oregon. This country near Fossil and Mitchell is beautiful, but this harsh winter has the wild horses starving. Local residents are working with Wheeler County Sheriff's Department to feed and adopt out these horses. Donations to purchase hay can be arranged by writing to Chris Humphreys, P.O. Box 345, Fossil, Oregon 97830. You may also contact Barb Leach at your Albany or Corvallis Equine Exchange for more information. Jay Farner here from Quicken Loans. We get a lot of tweets from folks that sound just like this. Jay, I bought my home in 2007. Since then, it's gone down in value. Now I owe more on my mortgage than my home is worth. Can I refinance? The answer may very well be yes. Recently, the government announced changes that may allow folks to refinance even if their home has lost value. For example, if you owe $300,000 on your mortgage, but your home's only worth $150,000, Quicken Loans may still be able to help you. Or if your current mortgage rate is higher than 3.99%, you've got to give us a call today at 800 Quicken. And for three years in a row now, J.D. Power & Associates has ranked Quicken Loans highest in the nation in customer satisfaction for primary mortgage origination. So if your current mortgage is higher than 3.99% or if you owe more than your home is worth, call Quicken Loans today at 800-QUICKEN or go to quickenloans.com. For J.D. Power & Associates award information, visit jdpower.com. Important terms and conditions apply. Calls for cost information. Equal housing lender license in all 50 states and MLS number 33. 
Looking to save money on lighting fixtures, lamps, shades, gifts, home decor? Larry and Marge Tomlin, owners of J&J Electric, invite you to compare prices, but don't buy until you've seen the high quality and low prices at J&J Electric. Visit J&J's spectacular showroom. Allow plenty of time for browsing. You'll find antiques, gifts, home decor, and of course, those beautiful lighting fixtures. The hometown folks at J&J Electric appreciate your business. J&J Electric, South Pacific at 22nd in Albany. You can call us lefty or you can call us righty. We just call it Smarty Talk on 1580 KGAL. Welcome back to From the Sidelines. Rob Allen alongside with uh, Will Silvera, one of my good friends and uh, co-workers from the Lowe's Distribution Center. Real quick shout out. We told at least one of our workers, a couple of our workers, that we were going to be on the air together. And one of them is in Sweet Home. Uh, goes by the name of Beetle. We call him Beetle. Beetle, yep. Yep, that's his nickname. He's a huge Red Sox fan, huge Boston. He's from the Boston area. Yeah, so he's from back east, so. If uh, Robert Beetle... If Beetle is listening back in Sweet Home, I appreciate you listening to us. Hopefully he's getting a good laugh. Why Beetle? What's the, what's the deal with Beetle? Uh, Ever since childhood. Can you share that? Uh, there's a story there's behind a story it, behind but it. I'd have to be refreshed. I'm not too oh, sure okay. I'm remembering. It, it's from childhood, from very early childhood. One of the stories lost in antiquity. <laughs> in antiquity, yes. A TV movie is coming forth on it. Yes, and definitely. It's, it's B-E-E-T-L-E. It's not like the Beatles. B-E-A-T-L-E. Yeah. The Beatles. The Beatles, yes. From you know Liverpool. What, you know what we were talking a moment ago about what you can do when you retire from sports? One of the things you can do is a traveling world ambassador, and you can solve the ills of the... Like Dennis Rodman. <laughs> Isn't that insane? You go on the he's internet. Got it. He's got it right there on the wonderful that, internet. That is awesome. Just the fate that. of the world is in the lap of Dennis Rodman. We have Doesn't got, that scare that? We've gotten you? desperate. <laughs> I mean, we have the NBA players over. <laughs> <laughs> of all the NBA players who could be a diplomat on the world stage, we send Dennis Rodman. I would think David Robinson, the admiral, would, you know, would be... Would be a better choice, personally. But did we send him, or did he just go on his own? He went on his own. Yeah. He had to have. Yeah. He's got enough money. He could do it. <laughs> you know, the, the folks in the White House that must be saying, you've got to be kidding. Yeah. This isn't a Saturday Night Live skit, right? No, no, sir. He's Dennis Rodman's with Kim Jong-ing. Yeah, he's yeah, actually he's, there. Well, he's, you know, he's one of the greatest rebounders of all time, uh, but also one of the silliest characters of all time. I mean, a guy that was known, he kicked the cameraman when he fell down in Minnesota. He dressed up as a bride in New York City. Multicolored <laughs> hair. Multi, the hair colors. I wonder if somebody talked to him before they went over mm. there and said, okay, Dennis, you know, I know you just like to say what you think, but the yeah. fate of the world is on your shoulders, my friend. <laughs> Watch yourself. <laughs> Uh, of all the, th you know, and he, him and Carl Malone used to get in a lot of battles uh, of, like, tripping each other and, and doing all these antics, and now he's called on for peace. He even had some wrestling matches in WCW. He did, yes. <laughs> I, I do remember that, too, yes. <laughs> but uh, we were talking about early retirement uh, before, uh, before our last break there, and I was, I was starting to talk about Kobe Bryant when he was 17, going on 18, and he was drafted into the NBA. He was the second uh, high school player to be drafted in the NBA. And he had, he had uh, uh, prophesied that he would, at the age of 35, that he would retire from the NBA because that would be, what, 17, 18 seasons, you know? So he thought, and he's almost 35. He will be 35, I believe, this uh, in, a, in a few months here. So did he, did he make it? I mean, did he... Is it going to happen? I don't know. It's, it's still up for grabs. I think he still believes that there's another year, a couple of years left in his in his body to do what he's been doing for a long time. And he's he's a you know obviously a super athlete, a super basketball player. But I mean that's kind of you know it's kind of youth back then talking. Oh yeah, I think I'm going to retire at 35. I mean you just never know, you know. Kobe, I mean, Kobe. All I got to mention is Brett Favre. You talk about unsure, being unsure about whether or not he's just going to retire. I'm going to retire. No, I'm not. No, I'm, I'm going to retire. No, yeah. I'm not. I'm yeah. back. No, I'm not. I'm <laughs> back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, just, no. Just toying with everybody, but baseball. 
baseball. That's what we were going to talk about uh, a few moments ago. And I'm excited for my team, Atlanta Braves. Braves, I think, uh, got to be one of the favorites in their division. How well, about how about your team? Well, it's good to have you know baseball starting, get something else going on, you know, liven it up the sports world a little bit. Um, I the A's are somebody that's just kind of those underdogs. They always will be. Um, you get the chance. You got to look at the Angels, what they do every year. Reload. Josh Hamilton now joining that big lineup. So unless we can, uh, you know, I feel good. Just watch it all the way around. A, the A's were one of the surprises last year because of how they started and how they finished. Uh, they won the AL West last year. So they that did. Was, out, uh, of, out of nowhere. I mean, nowhere. I, I remember a month or two into the season, Will's like, eh, here we go again. This season, it's long, though. We kept on telling Will, it's a long season. Yeah. Hey, he knows his team. And then they, they tore it up the second, second half. half of the season. Yeah. Tore it up. And, and, and we've talked uh, many times about how much talent has come from Oakland and gone elsewhere to do uh, great things. Farm system for the Yankees, Red Sox. Yeah. All those big yeah. spenders. Yeah, the Johnny Damons. And, you know, obviously the Braves have Tim Hudson. You know, Mark Mulder went to, went to St. Louis. Well, had some successful years. One that hurt the most was the Giambi when he left to go to the Yankees. Yes, yeah, and you remember with the Jombie brothers, they actually played with each other, right? Yeah, in but Oakland. that was not very long. Jeremy yeah. rode his brother's coattails. Yeah, yeah, and I, I'll never forget, uh, and, and I'm sure you haven't forgotten, the uh, Derek Jeter play in Oakland, the relay. Oh, the heartbreaking. Flip. Yeah, that, Ju- that was a great series. Jump. <laughs> Don't slide into the tag, jump over it. <laughs> Don't try to skip. Right, yeah. Yeah, do something other than what you did, which right. got yourself out at the, at the plate. But anyways, it's a long season. The Braves, they got the Upton brothers in the outfield, uh, along with uh, Jason Hayward. Uh, so pro- possibly one of the best uh, outfield combinations out there and, and some wonderful young pitching, aside from Tim Hudson, who amazingly, it's amazing. It seems like the guy hasn't aged, but he's getting older. Always a favorite in Oakland, Tim yeah. Hudson. Huddy. Uh, yep. is the yeah, and uh, you know the Braves uh, under Freddie Gonzalez, the second uh, second season. Uh, also have uh, Chipper Jones, I guess, has been helping out as yeah. well. Oh, I, is he is he back? He's, he's I been helping he's retiring as a, last as a season. coach. Oh. Well, he's helping as a coach. Coach, yeah, as a hitting coach. I would love to get hitting lessons well, from I, him. I do believe he's what a three hundred some career average. Yep, and uh, the biggest thing I always say about about Chipper is when he decided to go to switch hitting. I think that was the best career move that he did because he was primarily a left-hander and uh, threw from from third base. Actually, he started out in the outfield when he came to Atlanta. He was the first number one overall pick uh, for the Braves. Did you want to say something? Oh, you want to get one more break in? All right, we can do that. (laughs) We got time to do that, but we'll come back and talk more about the baseball season. By the way, if you wanted uh, the you're still taking applications or still taking entries, I guess is what we kind of want to call them for a Quiznos Taste on Us, yeah. davidkgal.com or call the station at 451-KGAL or 926-KGAL. $10 gift certificate from Quiznos in Albany right next to Novak's Restaurant next to, uh, across the parking lot from a former G.I. Joe Sporting Goods location. And at the end of the show, in about 12 minutes, we'll draw a name out of the hat and that lucky person will win a $10 gift certificate from Quiznos in Albany. Good luck with that. You're getting me hungry. Yeah, it's getting about that time. <laughs> ten minutes to uh, ten minutes to high noon. That's and, right. And lunchtime. Uh, from the sidelines, continue in just a moment. Moment. We're back. This is what we call in the industry a pregnant pause. <laughs> <laughs> to be followed by... More. Silence. By silence. You wait for this, it. Because, see, if this was a golf game, you'd be waiting for the putt. Yes. Okay. Anticipation. And he hits it. Oh, so close. <laughs> Better luck next year. That's right. No break. No break? No we, break. We get to talk about baseball? Yeah. All right. So, yeah, so... As we were talking about Oakland and, and reminiscing about uh, the teams and then also Atlanta, who do you see as the, as the favorites, do you think, in the National League and American League? Uh, American League, I think Toronto. 
um, all the off-season moves that they make, the trades, the money they took in, where they found the money, I don't know, but hey, more power to them. D- you know, they're actually looking like the favors in the East. Yeah, the power has certainly swung, hasn't it? I mean, the Yankees seem to be going down. Boston didn't look like they got any better, really. Well, that's the way with baseball. It's all, you know, there's no salary cap. So whatever they, whatever team can still spend, they can bring it in. So Right. And I, th- I think the Angels have got to be in the mix. You yeah, know, yeah. Anaheim, Los Angeles, Anaheim. I, I, still get, <laughs> I still get angry about teams that Is don't it? pick one or the other. You know, they have two sports names. It's Los Angeles of Anaheim. Angels, L A A. What do you guys think about renaming all of the arenas? You know, to, to profit on that. It's the uh, I can't think of the corporate example, the corporate yeah. buy-in yeah. of major league ballparks and so yes. on and so forth. Yes, you think that's? I, I've been waiting for the Rose Garden to become something else. You know, I mean, you have uh, it used to be the Delta Center, right? You know, I, I mean, you, you hear the United Center. That's another airline. Yeah. You know, company that's in Chicago. <laughs> so there, and then Arco, and then that's a gas station. Arco Arena, oh, yeah. Sacramento, Sacramento, <laughs> Arco AMGM Market. There you go. Or uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously, how about the Tidy Bowl Bowl? Yeah. Or yeah, you know, you, you I could see go where crazy. Going with you this. could go crazy. That's why I'm sitting here laughing. But uh, you know. I don't know. I know it's weird. It's or, money, and I know it takes money, but you mm, can, can. Can I have ESPN? How about ESPN? The ESPN Rose Garden Arena. Let's have. Let's, let's talk about a big corporation. I but mean, do you think it takes away something from just the the sports, just the love of the game, to just over commercialize it when everything is so commercialized? Yeah, with, I mean, because buying used, the arenas and. Uh, is it, what do you think? Uh, oh, it definitely. It's, you know, you take like old Candlestick Park and then it turned to Three Com Park. Yeah, you know, and a Candlestick Park. You know, <laughs> can, you, you know, you take the nostalgia away. It's yeah. like if you look at like teams like Soldier Field in Chicago, you cannot name that anything other else. And they keep that a legendary thing, you know. It's, it, I think it's important to the sports world to you know, hold on to stuff like that. And, but it's like you said, it's, there's a money situation and they're always going to be corporate people who want to put their name on something. And it's hard, kind of hard to say no with that. But like Candlestick Park, you you almost envision like that baseball movie where the ghost baseball players from the past are walking out right. of the dugout. Field of Dreams. There you go. <clears> and <throat> it just seems to me like it takes something it's, away from the game. It's overwhelming. Now, when I'm elected president, oh my gosh, I did it. <laughs> the chair is taken over. <laughs> Who says that? Radio Ray. Radio Ray, yes. When I'm elected president, they won't do that. That's right. That's right. When he's elected. When? His, it will his, be soon. Even though he's not here, his spirit is on the radio. Absolutely. But I, I, I totally agree with you. It's overwhelming. The corporate world has overwhelmed us because I don't care about FedEx Stadium where the Redskins play. I, don't, yeah. I, I see your commercials on TV. Yeah. I, I don't need to see your name plastered on a stadium. I want to see Soldier Field. Right. Yes. I want to see Candlestick Park. I want to see Wrigley Field. Bingo. Yankee Stadium. Nothing, you can't, I mean, you can't change those. Yeah, it's Field of Dreams time, and it, it I think it takes something away from the sport. It, it, I don't, uh, it just over-commercializes it. There's lots of words that come to mind, but, but, um, yeah, it just yeah. doesn't, it just, yeah. Yeah. I have a problem with that. Yeah. What do you, you don't like it either, do you? No, no, I don't. And I think, yeah, we'll, we'll, we all agree. We all agree. With well, you. let's change it. Let's change it right now. Yeah. Let's go on the record for start a petition. Yeah. Yeah, I think we could do this. No more commercial names of major arenas with historic significance. And we have to define historic significance, and then we'll, we'll start a momentum. It started, started right here. That's right. Right, right here, here in Albany, Oregon. At 11.54, Friday, March 8th. Making history. And you were That's there. That's right. <laughs> Walter Cronkite, and you <laughs> were there. So, anyway. the uh, So, we got the favorites in the American League. How about the National League? Uh, well, I, I guess the Giants would... Aren't they, Giants? Yeah. Defending World Champs? Exactly. So, you kind of have to go until they're dethroned. But I National League's more wide open, I think. I think so, too. Uh, Cincinnati Reds have a good team. They actually came on strong last year. They did, and uh, Washington Nationals. Oh, that was. I mean, they they they, they were perennially down the bottom of their division until last year. And Bryce Harper, and uh, that's great pitching, uh, great hitting. 
Uh, so I, I see, you know, I, I think Atlanta might be in the mix. I think if, if they can somehow, you know, they might be able to get that wild card spot if they don't win their division. Uh, in the West, boy, I don't know, the Dodgers, uh, Magic Johnson. Having, yeah, they definitely do, spent a lot of money themselves to bring in some talent. Yeah, it, you know, and uh, the Dodgers are, you know, kind of, someone was saying, uh, I was looking at uh, online uh, information, someone was saying they've become the Yankees of the West. They are. Uh, magic <laughs> was uh, money as much as yeah, they are. Magic was honest when he said, uh, "We want to win. We'll spend the money." And uh, you got the Dodgers, the Giants in the West, and then we talked about the Central a little bit. Uh, uh, Cincinnati, uh, Chicago, the Cubs. I don't, I don't think they'll be St. As Louis good. in that St. area. Louis, it's St. always Louis a powerhouse. Cardinals. Yes, in the Central, in the uh, in the opposite league, American League, Detroit usually is one of the favorites. Well, yeah, Miguel Cabrera, triple crown winner. So, Prince Fielder, he's picking off right where he left off last year in spring training. So far, he's smacking the ball around. Yep. So, uh, you know, baseball is is uh, obviously one of our favorite sports, and and uh, it's a long season. It kind of gets us gets us through the spring and the summertime until we can get to football once again. But but uh, it's still interesting. It's, it's long, and it's one of those things where you just can't get down early. You know, because the Oakland A's were a perfect example of that. Uh, how they got down early, but they fought back. Plenty of hard. time. Plenty of time. You Absolutely. You make up ground in baseball. Absolutely. I've got a question for you guys. Okay. Million dollar salaries. Are sports figures making too much money? Always. They will always make too much money, in my opinion. Most of them. Really? Pretty much all yeah, of them. Yeah, well, what do you think? They do, but at the same time, it's like if they don't get the money, it's just going to go in the owner's pockets, right? So... Right. Might as well see the players on the field who are actually putting their bodies online, breaking the money. Put in the work. Yeah. You know. They put in the work. Absolutely. Okay. So that's a good point. All right. That's a valid point. But, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. It, it is crazy, though. That's a lot of figures out there, what they're making. You know, the average guy on the streets reading these news, he picks up the, listens to the radio or whatever, and he sees XYZ sports players getting a $20 million salary. And he's out there trying to, you know, pull the dollars out of his bill to buy groceries and he's thinking man that's got to be right know. i'm killing my back here at work uh, you know every day here. 10 hours a day this guy goes out for two hours <laughs> and, and retires in the top condition usually most of them are in the top physical condition they can be retires at 40 and yeah. he's pulling in 20 million dollars a year three million dollars a year depending on the sport right then they, are you counting endorsements too you gotta throw in endorsements sure. if you're one of the top yeah. top players you know what was amazing to me is some of those people are raking in so much money, and they're broke. <laughs> <laughs> they're irresponsible I mean, about their where, money. Where is all this money going? Do you work for the federal government or something? What, what's going on here? Yeah, you know, my dad uh, had an opinion a few years ago about how a certain percentage, and you don't want to, like, tell people how to spend their money, but he thinks a certain percentage of athletes' money should go towards, like, education. Or, you know, so. things, things that are a little bit more, uh, more important. Okay, we got about thirty seconds to say yes. Goodbye. Yes. Well, it's been a, it's been a wonderful time, and uh, obviously we got uh, some basketball being played at Matthew United Arena. Uh, the Warrior Girls will be playing at nine o'clock tomorrow. Pre-game around eight forty-five with Radio Ray and Scott Langren. And uh, don't forget daylight savings this weekend. Don't forget to turn up your clocks one hour. There you go. And if you miss any of the games that we're playing this weekend on K-Show, K-Gal, you can always catch them on the Internet on either respective websites or go to our Facebook page. They're posted there as well. Or go to YouTube. You can even listen to this one more time. On YouTube. On YouTube. Absolutely. Thanks, Dave. Thanks for, for helping us out this morning. It's been great. Okay. It's been good. And we'll leave this on, on Shall We Dare Do This? Yes. Yeah. This, this is our go for theme. It. This is our theme here. <laughs> Locally owned and operated, this is the very independent News Talk 1580 KGAL, Lebanon, Albany, Corvallis.